Hey guys, it's Jay of Sim Snakes here, and today I will be doing a video on uh, humidity in your snakes enclosure. As you can see, I don't know how well you can see, but uh, Coco is very deep in shed. She's been blue and she's now back to clear, but as you can see, she's so deep in shed that in certain places, I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, scales are already beginning to peel off. Now this is not great, but um, she's due to shed tonight and so in this video I'm going to show you ways to um, increase humidity within your snake's enclosure. I'm just going to put her away in a different tub first and then we'll get into the video. Okay guys, here is everything you're going to need to increase the humidity within your snake's enclosure. Um, first thing is a spray bottle. Second thing is an extra plastic tub. It doesn't have to look nice because it's only going to be in your enclosure for a short amount of time. And then preferably sphagnum moss. This is Komodo's own brand, but this is really going to help you when it comes to keeping humidity in the enclosure. And I don't know, but if like me, you have holes in the top of your rub or the lid, uh, this may work with um, aquariums if you have a mesh lid. You're going to need something like this uh, towel to place over it to stop the evaporation leaving through the top. So we'll get into her enclosure and show you how I will set this up. Okay guys, so now you can see her enclosure. I've taken a lot of the decoration out. And as you can see, her... If I just try and focus the camera... Is it just under 40%? Which is fine for when she's not insured, but because she is, I'm really going to need to um, improve this. First thing I'm going to do to improve this is take my spray bottle. Right here. There we go. And I'm just going to gently spray down all of her enclosure. So it's got... Tighten up, tighten up all of it. So it's got quite a nice, nice wet patch all over it. You might, you really want to try and get it on the warm side though, out of all of it, because then because then as the heat pads, uh, heat rises, it's going to um, condense the water, uh, it's going to evaporate the water and it's um, going to stay in your cage. Secondly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my container, I'm just going to place it in the middle of the enclosure right here and I'm going to go and fill that up with um, water so guys <coughs> so guys now I have a um, my water I'm just going to oh, it's probably probably easy if I take it out it's gonna fill it up probably only halfway and all this is gonna do is it's gonna provide another water source where the water can evaporate and once again it can stay in your air longer now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the sphagnum moss i'm going to bring you a bit closer now so you can see exactly what i'm doing okay so what i'm going to do is i'm opening the bag and i'm just going to grab this much moss if like this one it comes a bit compacted, that should be easy because it'll break up. And I'm just going to layer it around here. This stays really nice and wet. Oh. So just going to get a bit more. And I'm probably going to place some under her hide as well. Because this means that even when she's sitting in there, she's still going to be um, getting a lot of humidity. And that is very important. So I've kind of just layered sphagnum moss around the outside. Now I'm just going to take random little clumps and just kind of break that up around the enclosure. Just to add more moisture. Now this may be a bit excessive just for what she needs tonight, but like I said, I'm trying to make this uh, a good educational video for what you can do in general. So hopefully this helps you guys a lot. Okay, so now I've done that, what next I'm going to do, okay, I think I might add a, a bit more. And so if you do have something like a Brazilian rainbow bar or something, 
You could use this sphagnum moss as almost like a permanent uh, substrate, like mixed in with something like an eco earth, as that could provide very good um, humidity. So now what I'm gonna do is, you can see the back of our enclosure there, I've put a few big clumps of sphagnum moss. I'm just gonna place her hide back over that. So now she's got a nice uh, um, human place where she can go. More. Right here. Okay, there we go. Now that's in. I do just want to spray it down one more time just to ensure that it's all getting nice and wet. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid of the enclosure with cocoa back in there. got Coco. I'm trying not to hold her too much because she's very, very, um, like, fragile with her uh, scales. So now I've got her in. I'm going to want to put something in to help her shed. So I'm going to put in this little thing here that she can rub, rub on to uh, get her shed off. And then the lid will go back off. And I'll show you what I mean with the holes. I've got some holes in it there. So this is going to go back on the enclosure. And then those are going to go on. And then, like I said earlier, although I have forgotten my hygrometer, one second guys. going to take my tea towel I'm just kind of gonna place it over the holes it doesn't have to go over all of it but so there we go I'm just gonna go around and pull it over it's not completely on there we go so there that is the enclosure now it's got moss in it's been sprayed down thoroughly it's got a thingy over the holes to try and uh, hold in a bit of that uh, vapour uh, that's going to be coming off from the moss and the wet. And hopefully she will have a good shed and I will, if she does shed tonight, I'll post a picture on Twitter. So make sure you go and follow me over there. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like rating. And uh, if you're still interested after that, hit that subscribe button. We're so close to the 100 subscribers. And then when we get there, there'll be that competition giveaway. So really make sure you hit subscribe and then go and leave your answer on the that um, that video. The answer is obviously Coco. She's a pinstripe. And so go and make sure you answer that question. And it's been JFM Snakes.